Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So I don't know if anybody knows this or not, but I am a horrible builder. I cannot build anything. It just seems like I'm lost when it comes time to cut boards straight and put nails and things. It's more, it's like a fish trying to climb a tree for me. But I do know people that are good at it. Unfortunately, they're not always available. So I just gotta kinda wing it. Well everyone, if you stick around, you'll see what happens when I'm left to my own devices. My name's Jeff Moore, I'm the Northwoods Carver. Thanks for seeing what I saw. Hey everyone. I just thought I would share with you this jalopy of a thing that I made years ago. We had a storm here and uh, took out a bunch of red pine and I had the uh, the fortune, the good fortune of uh, reclaiming a lot, you know, just a lot of logs and stuff. And so I had it, everything milled up and I just have it stacked downstairs. There's tons of it, right? Six by uh, sixes, two by sixes, two by two, whatever. We just randomly just made a bunch of boards, which is how I uh, did the interior of my shop and the exterior of my shop. We use all that red pine. It's, it's awesome. I use it for benches and Perfect. Um, so I needed some place to put my saws. And I know on this uh, channel, I've, I've uh, had a few comments where they're like, hey, can you like show us what you, or you know, show us some of the stuff that you have in your shop as far as tools and other than the ones you're carving. And uh, uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's probably worth diving into. Um, so, uh, I designed this I uh, with my own two hands or my brain. And then I'm not a, I'm not a good builder. I, I'm a horrible builder. Um, but I I can squeak out some some lame stuff once in a while. And by lame I mean uh, crooked. Uh, everything kind of looks like Frankenstein's neck at the end. And it's fine with me because it's just here in the dojo, so I don't really care. It's gonna serve a purpose, and it's gonna keep things out of my way. Uh, so I created this little deal, and I thought, well, what what would be cool is just uh, some place where I could put my saws that are not being used. I mean, I have um, on this, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I mean, I have a rolling scaffold. Let me get down. And I just use that as my, one of my benches. You know, it works out pretty sweet. But uh, it works out pretty dang well um, for the stuff. I also have a fueling station back here. It's just a, basically a bench with some wheels. And that's a real piece of crap right there. But this one, this one serves a good purpose. So what I did was I, I have it. Uh, on casters, and I can just roll it out of the way. Um, it's better than having saws just taking up all kinds of space on the shelves when I'm trying to gas and you know, my saws up. It's a problem. So uh, what I did was I just we go created again. a slot system, and uh, and I also made um, on the end this place to put your bar oil and stuff. But uh, so I have the slot system. So here we have my MSA 400. I'll go through a little few of my saws that I have just while we're at it. Uh, by the way, I love this saw. It's fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna put that right in here. All right, so it just kind of sits in there like that. And I got my, my 362 with a toonie tip, just 20 inch. That's pretty sweet. And as you see, there's enough gap there um, so that they're not, you know, bumping into each other. I kind of had to measure it out a little bit. But... So I could put that one, see how that just kind of fits in there just right? This one barely touches, that one barely touches. So these would be for my larger body saws and of course I have my 
Uh, oh yeah, this is my 461 with a, uh, this is a super mini. And this thing kicks butt. So I have all my bigger saws just kind of up and out of the way. And I can just roll this thing around. Um, I also have on the other side, I'll put my my carving saw that I'm not using. So uh, the, the saws, that, the carving saws I'm not using, the smaller guys. But I do have the Beastly 500i, and it has a 36 inch bar. It handles it very well. Um, but I had to travel with it, and I took the bar off. So normally that would be sitting in here too. For now, we're just going to set it right here. And so, like, I'll have some of my smaller saws, my Makita, uh, this would be the EA4300. I'll just put that in there. Steel, this is the 241. This is an amazing saw. Uh, put that right here. Gas saws, my. Uh, my 194s, different bar configurations. And then I have, like I said, I have two gouges yet. I think I have two more gas saws back there with no bars on them, but within reason you can get, I, I just need enough to, to hold scrap. these. And of course, it's all made out of scrap woods, red pine. Uh, one day I just said, you know what, I need a place to put my saws. I'm tired of moving them all over the, you know, they're all over the floor, they're all over my benches. I'm like, I'm done. So what we'll do is when it's time to call her a day, put the saws back in the, in the holder, and then we'll just roll it out of the way. Put it against the wall, put it wherever, and uh, that's it. That's that's my uh, that's my lame. Well, actually, it's not lame. Actually, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, you're having fun up to this point, and you know, don't forget to like and subscribe, smash that notification bell, and share. <coughs> Sharing is caring. All right, I'm out.